G'day, I'm Kent. Have you ever used one of these tap reseating tools? No, neither have I. But today we're gonna to give it a go. This bathroom tap, even if you turn it off really tight, it still drips. But I figure if we're going to the effort of turning off the water and dismantling the tap to replace the tap washer, that might fix it. But we might as well do a full service on the tap. Stay tuned to this quick video. I'm gonna show you all the troublemaker parts of a tap and how to fix them and also how to use this thing. Let's get into it. These taps have got no retaining screws on them so we actually need to undo this whole tap hood or tap bonnet. I'm just putting a rag on the grips here so I don't scratch the chrome. Ew, yuck. Here's the old fiber washer there. That washer can come off. These sort of disintegrate. So that's actually one part we're gonna get rid of. There's the tap washer. Now let's have a look down inside there at the tap seat that we're gonna be grinding. Just looking inside the tap, that's the tap seat there, the bronze tap seat that we're going to be grinding to give it a nice flat smooth surface for the tap washer to close against. Okay, so how this one works, that's going to be the grinder which grinds away the bronze or that um, tap seat down there and it'll get rid of any scoured metal, any pitting, any build up of calcium or whatever causes the seat and the tap washer to not um, bind beautifully. So we'll push that all the way in there. This big nut, there's two different size threads but that is an indoor one. That bigger thread will be for an outdoor tap. So wind that all the way down till it's tight. Now that'll be keeping this nice and straight up and down. This next um, bit of thread, that will be where you wind down just the right amount of pressure. So as you turn as you turn the handle, you'll be able to grind away at that tap seat. Okay, let's have a look at that. So you can see how we've started to resurface it. It's not completely flat, it's, it's grinding off that further side to us first, quite dull on this side of it. Because I've never used one of these before, I'm just going to do it in a few, like sort of three or four attempts. Just make sure I'm not Finding it. I'm going to put the um, reseating tool back in and have another go. What I've noticed though is when we set that to whatever depth we want and we turn the handle it actually tightens that up which means it's going to be putting more pressure on that tap seat down there. Now I don't want that to happen. So what we're going to have to do is set that to the pressure that we want, just finger tight, and hold it there while we do the 
um, grinding on this T-bar. Sorry guys, I'm having a little bit of trouble focusing down inside the tap on the seat there, but on this angle we can see the light reflecting off it. All the pitting has gone, it's got a nice clean bronze surface there. So I think that's good, let's reassemble the tap and see how well it works. Here's the uh, tap repair kit that I got. Inside here we'll have a replacement body washer. There's some spindle lubricant, a replacement washer. Now we could probably do a better quality one of these. See how this is brass, this one's plastic. The plastic ones can warp, they're not as, really, that's not a good quality one. But we'll use it for now. And O-rings. This tap probably has two O-rings on the spindle. We'll open it up and have a look. So you hold the body of the tap and unscrew it this way until you see the O-rings. There we go, there's a bit of muck up in there, we can clean that out. Now to get these washers off, just pinch them with a pair of pliers. Don't worry if they break, because these ones essentially are worn out and we're replacing them. Now sorry about the rustling of the paper again. And then just give your thread around here a little clean. And around those o-ring seats. Looks pretty good. Okay, now it's this easy to reassemble. That's your body washer. Sits on there. We'll get the new o-rings and you just force them on. One. Two. Just make sure they're sitting in there, not twisted, not kinked. Sitting in that little recess. We'll get some lubricant on there. and then our new washer. So now we can reinstall the tap. There's the O-rings that we installed and our body washer. Make sure the tap is in the open position before we put it back into the um, that part. All the way up. You can start the tap off using the handle, but as soon as that thread starts to engage, you'll need to finish it off with, the, with a wrench. Just that tight is okay, you don't need to go crazy on it. The reason you need to have the tap right open is so when you install the tap back into that, I don't know what that body part is called, it doesn't, you just want to make sure it's not going to crush the uh, new tap washer. Okay, now we can close the tap and we'll go and put the water back on. With the water back on, now we can just run the tap until there's a steady flow of water coming out. Actually, have a little look here. That's the little bits of grindings from that tap seat. That's the cold tap done. Now onto the hot tap. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you like this kind of content, join me at Inspired DIY for more helpful DIY videos. I'll see you on the next one.